What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to Fox's Den. Getting into another reaction. We are getting into the newest episode of Mashal. A little late on these reactions. We're getting into Mashal. We're getting into One Piece. I usually get into them like right when they drop or you know in succession. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Today's currently Tuesday. I've been hanging out with some friends for a little bit for the past couple days, and uh, you know just kind of push this a little bit further into the week. So. Apologies for a little bit of a late upload if you guys are used to the schedule, but uh, it's all good. We had a break from Mashal last week, I believe, which was completely okay because we had an insane episode of Solo Leveling. Was it two weeks in a row? I feel like we haven't had a Mashal episode in a minute, bro. I think it, I think it, I think it was only one week, I think. But uh, I wasn't surprised because I'm pretty sure if I had to guess, they just did it, you know, because of scheduling or whatever, because A1 Studios are doing both of these shows, Mashal Season 2 and Solo Leveling uh, Season 1. So I wasn't really surprised about that. So we got uh, Mashal Episode 6 that we're getting into right now. We'll get into the One Piece episode after this. And then I'm pretty sure I've already heard this coming weekend, we're going to have a break from Solo Leveling like episode eight is being delayed or whatever. And I think, I don't know the exact reasoning for it. It's probably it has something to do with scheduling or something with the studio if I had to guess. Um, but apparently it's gonna be a recap episode of what's happened up until now. So we'll probably just skip that. We'll probably, I'm pro it's probably not even worth reacting to. So we'll just have one piece in Mashal this weekend, I'm assuming, and leave it at that. So getting into Mashal, I mean, shit, it feels like it's been like way longer than it has. I mean, we had a week break, so I guess it's, yeah, it's been two weeks technically since the last episode, episode five. And Mash went the fuck in and took out a Master Cane user. You know, these, this, these people that, you know, are called Master Canes or the Wands are called Master Canes. There's only 13 of them in the world in existence in this universe of Mashal. And so it, it was already hyping you up from the beginning, like getting that background information. Like, why are we getting this info all of a sudden? Of course, our boy, Capuccio or whatever his name is. I was calling him Cappuccino, just trolling. He's a Master Cane user. Of course he is. I knew he was going to be a problem. But they were hyping up this, you know, fact that he's a Master Cane user and just like the, the info behind Master Canes. And it's like, damn, there's only 13 in existence. Like the fucking, you know, this is only the first one that we've seen and, and the, the ability is absolutely insane. Like overpowered. Like he hasn't felt pain in his entire life because it just absorbs it for him. And uh, it was like, damn, like, what the fuck are we going to do about this guy? Like, he seems like a fucking huge problem. I already knew he was going to be, but like now that we actually know what he's capable of, I'm like, oh, shit. But MASH, as usual, handles fucking business like a G. It's trolly as fuck, pulls out his fucking wand that he pulled out of the ground from the um, magic wand store and uh, turns it into a tennis racket and then starts playing wall fucking rebound volley whatever the fuck it's called with the uh holy spirit or whatever the fuck is behind the master cane user like pretty much at all times and like allows them to do what they do and he fucking actually makes him feel pain and he, and he wins he beats a master cane user and it's fucking it was hilarious of course just in the way that he did it with this tennis racket and a fucking like stone ball i guess like dude it's so funny but he actually overcomes that and uh of course you know saved his boy finn which finn is actually capable as we saw last episode it's just that he might not be as strong as his older brother you know he's always going to be compared to him but as we can see like if he actually starts to like hunker down and believe in himself like he's smart you know what i'm saying he might not be the strongest mage there is but he is smart and he is fully capable and he didn't give up even though he knew he didn't stand a chance he didn't give up and Look at look what it got him. They're still in the they're still in the uh, the the exam, the second part of the exam. They still have that one crystal because he didn't give up. He could have been like, "Fuck this!" Like, I, I, there's you know, because he realized he didn't stand a chance. So he could have been like, "Nah, I'm good." Like, I don't know when Mash or Barry is gonna show up and help me. I'm not trying to die, or I'm not trying to get hurt. This and that, blah blah blah. You know, but uh, he stood his ground, and then Mash came through and helped him out. So that was what we got last episode. I'm pretty sure that's the gist of it. And uh, I'm excited to see where we go from here, see if we maybe finish up this second part of the exam this episode, or it's going to go on for a little bit longer and we won't finish it until next episode. But th the pacing is pretty, pretty quick. It's not super slow. So I feel like we might finish the second part and then truly see like what the last part is. I'm assuming the third part of the exam is going to be the final one. And who really is left after the second part of the exam? Because... 
the goal is to get rid of every team's crystals. So as long as you have one crystal, like the whole the, the whole team goes through. So I think it might just be two teams that make it through. Like one, only one team is actually going to truly be eliminated in this part of the exam. And if I had to guess, it's going to be Capuchino's team or Cappuccino, whatever the fuck, the red team, because now he's down. The other two. I don't even think we really know them. I think they're just kind of side characters. I mean, maybe they put up a fight, but I doubt it. I feel like the main two teams are going to be Lance and Mash's team, obviously. And Margaret happens to be on uh, Lance's team. So that's where we're at. Let's get into the episode. Let's get into the reaction. If you guys enjoy it, please like down below. Comment, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping. Let's get into it. Mashal, Season 2, Episode 6. <laughs> Yeah, okay, we're getting a little recap. This fucking dude. Uh, literal tennis racket. And he made it with his bare hands. You know, the animation was looking crisp, though. A1 has been doing their thing with Mashal and solo leveling. Mmm! Broke through those fucking defenses. Merciless. Still continues. Oh, look. Oh, wow. Margaret's running into the other two of the red. See, I told you, yeah, red's not gonna stand a chance, bro. Because Margaret, we've already gotten background info on him on how, like, talented he is and skilled. They're about to get rocked. Red team's out, for sure. I missed this opening, bro. This shit's so gas. All right. Back to it. Yo, I, bro, I'm telling you, Margaret's gonna... Mo look at them. They're already scared. Y'all don't stand a chance. And I've never seen these characters a day in my life. They're done. They're done. It's over. Oh my god, yo, major scale? Major scale, baby? Damn. He said, you're a D-note, bruh. You're a D-note. Your ass. What the fuck? Okay, so y'all have been working hard. Yeah, that's what you believe, right? You're trying to convince yourself. Sorry, dude. Y'all just, just don't stand a chance. Oh, my goodness. Pack them up, dude. Ray put together. He wasn't even ranking y'all individually. <laughs> Margaret, you nasty motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's what I thought. Yeah, it's only, it only had to be one team. Barrett, what the fuck did you do? Yeah, <laughs> he didn't do shit at that exam, or that part of the exam. <laughs> Today's MVP. <laughs> oh, this shit is so funny. Yeah, the last part of this exam has got to be like a battle royale, right? Like, you know, just free for all for everybody. <laughs> Why are you sitting back there looking at me like that? Yo, chill. Yo, Margaret, chill, bud. Or is it going to be like a tournament based like ex uh, part of the exam where it's not like a free for all, but like they like fight 1v1, move up until it's just two contestants left. Damn, that chest burning? That chest burning, Mash? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna hit chest later. After these episodes. Okay. Yeah, so we're being displayed again this info on how Margaret is just like the the chosen candidate. Like he seems like the best position for the spot. Or the best, the best person for the spot. Uh huh. Um, you, you're not, you're not gonna know until we find out, buddy. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to see this shit. 
What is the actual third part of the exam? Like, shut your dumb ass up. I don't need help from you. Yeah, like, bro, what? He wants this shit fair and square. Hey, like, buddy, chill out. Yo, Barrett is too fucking funny, bro. You know how to play violin all of a sudden, buddy? What's with your hair, too? This is a beautiful story. <laughs> what the fuck is this, dude? <laughs> this useless flow of time. <laughs> Yo, Barrett. Chill, bud. Another protein drink? Alright, best. Say less. Damn right. Gotta keep that nutrition in check. What's good, Divine Visionary? I just noticed, too, he has a sword. Is that his wand? Is that, so like... I've never seen a sword before, like someone actually using a sword in the show. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> Mm. He wants to prove himself now that he knows he has to be acknowledged by him. Bro, you're not going to beat him. You look, you lose. What the fuck? And not face the way I'm pointing. This definitely has to do with his magic. I don't know what the fuck he's gonna do. He's some, somehow forcing him to look the way that he wants to wants him to look. Bro, this is a play on that fucking meme. It's not. I don't know if it's a meme, but I've seen people do it before. Where they're like, yeah, and it, bro, nah, dude. The fact that they're putting this into the show is hilarious. Mmm, deflected him. What's the last round? Oh, he's put out the sword. That shit looks crazy. I'm a Tarasu? What's good, bro? <laughs> right, he's barely, yeah, he, somehow he's dodging the shit. Oh, <laughs> that shit is wild. He literally picked up the circle. <laughs> That's my cream puff, bro. What the fuck? Oh, shit. He did? Yeah, he was just testing him. He wanted to see... He, he, he's like... 
Yeah, he wanted to get a, a gauge of his abilities for himself. Just to see why everyone is so interested in him, or, you know, why Wahlberg is so interested in him. So he was still going to participate in this exam, regardless. This soundtrack is so gas! He's off the rails. He's, he's still be a valuable ally. <laughs> yo, he's welcoming, welcoming Madge with open arms. He's like, yo, if you can do it, get your ass up here. I'm ready. All right, so one divine visionary other than the blonde dude and uh, Rain has had a change of heart. You see, slowly but surely, he's swaying the top of the top to believe in him. Okay, so that's what I thought. Yeah, it's going to be a tournament based. Mash is up first. All right, bet. Say less. Dude, this is first round? Margaret and Mash first round? Yo, this fight is about to be crazy, and they're about to cliffhang us too. The episode's about to end, dog. I swear. Alright, this is his biggest hurdle yet. Let's see how he fucking handles this. <laughs> of course the shrimp tempura, dude. Yo. Oh my god, dude. Dude, chill! I knew I, how did I know this was gonna happen? Oh, it's tartar sauce. I thought it was fucking mayonnaise at first, bro. Damn, he's violating that shit even more than the first time we saw him do that shit. Damn. You just want to eat the sauce? Yo, this guy is twisted. That is criminal. <laughs> yeah, they're both fucking off the rocker. Mmm, so okay. Uh, Kaldo's aware of this guy's tactics and, and what he's trying to accomplish. He wants to make sure MASH fails. Yo, animation! Oh my goodness, yo, 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 chill! You feel ill? Just from the aura of his magical power? He's gonna volley it like a volleyball? Oh, it's more than you thought! Oh, shit! Like a bowling ball. You can't return the serve! I love how they're talking in volleyball terms, too. He's not even there. He's already on the move. Ooh! RKO! RKO! RKO, baby! Oh my god! Rock Lee? We got Rock Lee and Mashal? Oh, there's no spin to it! Damn right! File drive his ass, motherfucker! Come on! Yo. He was running backwards. Mm. Damn right, motherfucker. I noticed this shit. Y'all talking about volleyball and sports and shit. It doesn't matter. It's Mashal, dude. It's Mashal. <laughs> Damn right, that's what I said. It's just the beginning. Come on. So we get a little taste of the fight. I have a feeling it's going to end here. This episode's going to end. Yeah, they're going to cliffhang us. Right here. Done. I knew it. Damn, bro. What an episode, though. That shit was fucking gas, bro. 
as I thought, most of the shit that I thought was going to happen, we finished the part two exam pretty fucking quickly. We get into a little bit more of some extra stuff in between part two and part three. And sure enough, part three is a tournament based exam. And we already got Mass versus fucking Margaret round one. This shit, bro, next episode's about to be dummy. Holy shit. All right, guys, what another amazing episode of Mashal, episode six in the books of season two. Wow. Like I said, most of the shit that I was expecting to happen, happened. We finished part two of the exam. Sure enough, Red Team was the one that got eliminated. And who was the one that eliminated the other two members of Red Team? Fucking Margaret. And he took them on 2v1 and they're thinking like, of course, there's no way, like at least 2v1, we can we can stand a chance. You know what I'm saying? No, you can't. You're, you're, you're Ray on the major scale, okay? Margaret is T. That motherfucker, the difference in power is insane and then he went and went on to say too at the end like after he already like was about to crush their crystals and like already mopped the floor of them he was like yeah you guys are ray combined he wasn't even talking about them individually like combined your power your strength is ray on his major scale because this is how he looks on every he this is how he perceives everything through like music right so I like the little connections that this show makes a lot between all kinds of stuff, music, sports, like the volleyball terminology towards the end and stuff like that. Like that kind of all plays into its comedic factor, which is fucking hilarious. Even uh, also later in the episode, like, you know, we pretty much finish up part two of the exam, seeing Margaret mop the floor with the other two members of Red Team. Red Team is eliminated. And so, it, of course, it was only one team that needed to be eliminated and then boom, the exam's over or that part of the exam's over and they move on to the next part. So there's six people left. Lance, Margaret, whoever was on their team. I can't remember. There's some other guy that was on the yellow team, but uh, he might've been, wasn't he dealt with by Capucho? So I think, is he a part of, is he, is he still a part of the exam? He might not be because he was, I don't know. He's knocked out. Like he can't move on. You know what I'm saying? I don't know because he was already dealt with I, I, that's possible but if that's the case and there's five people left lance margaret finn barrett mash i would think there's six because that would be if it wasn't it'd be uneven numbers for this tournament round based part three exam i don't know we'll figure that out later we finish that up and then we pretty much have like a little bit of time to kill in between parts two and three so we're seeing Margaret getting talked to by the one divine visionary that set this all up in the first place and is expecting him to do what he wants him to do, which is make sure MASH doesn't, you know, continue through. And, and you know, he's really trying to get in his way, basically, uh, on purpose, because Ma Margaret apparently doesn't really give a fuck about becoming a divine visionary. So this is the only reason why he's participating in this exam is because the other dude, Alter, I think his name is, the guy with the glasses is a divine visionary. He's asking him or like, you know, giving him a job like yo make sure he doesn't fucking get through like he wants to see him fail that badly or he doesn't want him to succeed that badly so we saw margaret and him have a little bit more of a conversation again and just like reapplying that pressure like make sure he make sure making sure he gets the job done and then also at least agreeing on terms because margaret is so powerful like okay i'm gonna let you do what you want seeming that you get the job done but that one guy that was a part of Lang, like he was embarrassed that he got, you know, fucked up by MASH and he, and he was thinking like, oh, you know, I wouldn't even mind, you know, putting a laxative in his, you know, this and that. And it's like, bro, don't fuck with my excitement. Don't fuck with my joy right now. Like, don't get in the way. Like, I, I want this fair and square. You know what I'm saying? This is exciting. Don't fuck with my shit. So there's no, there's not going to be any, any underhandedness in play unless the one divine visionary guy decides to for whatever reason. So we saw that conversation and then we also see on the other side of things in the other room with, you know, Barrett and <laughs> Lemon having their trolley experiences and their own stories and mash with how he started lifting weights like that shit was hilarious. But then Caldo, one of the divine visionaries, pulls up and wants to play a little game with mash. And if he passes or wins the game, then he'll just let him pass because he's the one that like oversees or, or sees if somebody even if they pass the exam if they're capable of being divine visionary and they have to be approved by him over everything else like he's the one that gives approval for these candidates and so he's the perfect man for the job and he's also just interested in mash because of how much everybody else is interested in him and how he allures people you know to his side and why Wahlberg is so interested in him so you know Caldo took it upon himself like why is this why is everybody gravitating towards this guy so obviously this is why he did this and played this little game because he wanted to you know see for himself why everybody is so interested in MASH 
And sure enough, MASH, even in this little game, which is this like, you know, if you look in the direction that I point, you lose basically. So this is also another little game that is like very within the times. Like MASH is like really in the times, like with like some of these like real world uh, connections. Like, cause I've seen clips of this of like fucking kids, like, or anybody like doing that, like pointing, like, it's like really fast though. It's like really fast. And it's like they get their neck if they, you know, fucking look in the direction that they point. So I've the, the when I realized that connection, I was like, dude, this show is so funny for that, bro. It's, it's so it's so hilarious that they actually made a connection to that. Um, but sure enough, that's the game, and Mash does pretty well in the first two rounds. And you know, it's shocking the way that he does what he does and, and not looking in those directions. And, and then Caldo in each round put up multiple directions so the first round was just one direction the second round was two directions and the third round was three directions so you can only look in one direction which was down and of course he was attacking from down there with his sword that apparently has amaterasu properties and you know black flames that will not stop burning until the thing is fucking burnt to a crisp doesn't matter so he wasn't fucking around and mash literally lifts the ground of the circle that he's in to be able to dodge the attack but he still looked right for a split second within that time so you know he, he ended up losing he was just like oh fuck but caldo was like uh we won't call it a loss it's a draw but like obviously since you didn't win you're still participating in the exam which was going to happen regardless this, this was just caldo getting his own perspective on mash and then him actually being swayed by what he just saw and he was like this guy's pretty fucking interesting and he's crazy at that like he's insane because he was about to use his forehead to block the attack at first and he's thinking to himself like why does he want to become a divine vision that, that bad like you know if you die it's all for naught and so he just kind of smiled to himself like yo this kid's fucking wild like if you can make it bring your ass up here like come 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 to the top so he's pretty much accepted him and is you know excited to see him you know perform or you know do whatever he does from here on out and so that's interesting is as i said earlier in this season whenever he first met the divine visionaries it's like all right yeah as time goes on he's going to continue to sway the top of the top and uh you know just like everybody else that he's met and made friends with he's going to sway them just as he did his friends and you know like oh mash is pretty cool and he's pretty fucking strong even though he doesn't have magic like that's crazy to think about so he's already done that with caldo and then that's when we get into the official start of the you know third part of the exam and like i said it's a tournament based exam you know one round whoever the winner is moves on all the way up until there's two final contestants and we already got margaret versus mash round fucking one and we see each of them pull off their own first attacks and then sure enough the episode ended cliff sayings and we're that's probably what next episode is going to be ma mainly about is just that full-on fight so i'm excited for next episode because we're probably going to see some crazy animation again uh which is not the most prevalent in Mashal, but there has been some moments, especially with Rain's reveal of his uh, third line, like the animation there went absolutely ridiculous. I wouldn't be surprised when we get that level of animation next episode, just because these are two of the greats going at it 1v1. Margaret and his infamous, you know, history and background, how everybody's been talking about him and everybody perceives him, like he's known for being on the level of Divine Visionary, just not he doesn't have the title you know what i'm saying like he's the most capable he's the most qualified candidate there is to become divine visionary and it, mash is going up against him so this is like a true test of like how far mash can go and everybody's are everybody's expecting margaret to win so if mash actually come pulls through and fucking you know wins against margaret then that just goes to show he can he can do anything you know what i'm saying without magic and uh oh, dude it's so fucking hype bro like I knew they were going to end it. They were just going to give us a little taste. And they did. Fucking, you know, uh, Margaret pulled off a move. Mash fucking got behind him after that move by running backwards and outrunning, like, what he was trying to block at first and realizing it was way heavier than he, he thought it was going to be. And then he pulls a little Rock Lee and fucking pile drives his ass. Uh, and Margaret's perfectly fine after that. So they, they've gotten their first moves in. Everybody's excited. Everybody's watching it. Like, holy shit, this is, this is going to be a wild fight. As we are the audience this is going to be fucking amazing so i think that does it amazing episode of mashal that was a great time if you guys enjoyed the reaction please like down below comment subscribe for new hit that notification bell so the next one's dropping 
I'll see y'all in the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.